Ubuntu 16.04 has been released in wild by Canonical with a life circle of 5 years support. This tutorial will guide you on how you can perform the installation of Ubuntu 16.04 in a dual boot with Microsoft operating system on a machine that comes with pre-installed Windows 10 OS. For this demonstration, I assume that your machine comes with pre-installed Windows 10 OS. The first thing you need to take care is to create a free space on a computer hard disk in case the system is installed on a single partition. And for that, you have to log into your Windows machine with an administrator account and then right click on a start button and then click on disk management. On a disk management console, select your C drive and right click on it and select shrink volume. Now here you have to specify the amount of space to shrink in MB. That's specify 80,000 MB and then click on shrink. Once the space has been resized, you will see a new unallocated space on the hard drive. Leave it as default and now let's reboot the computer in order to proceed with Ubuntu 16.04 installation. Let's close this console and if I open a file explorer, click on this PC. As you can see, already I mounted the ISO image of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Let's click on close this console and let's restart the computer. Once you boot your VM with Ubuntu installer disk, you will see the first console. On that, you can select try Ubuntu without making any changes to your computer directly from this CD. And you can select install Ubuntu to start the installation process of Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. Let's click on install Ubuntu. Next, leave both options from preparing to install Ubuntu uncheck and hit on continue button again. Now it's time to select an installation type. You can choose to install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager options that will be automatically take care of all the partition steps. Use these options if you don't require a personalized partition scheme. In case you want to custom partition layout, check the something else options and hit on continue button to proceed further. The options it is this game install Ubuntu should be avoided on a dual boot because it's potentially dangerous and will wipe out your hard disk. On these steps, we'll create our custom partition layout for Ubuntu 16.04. On this guide, we'll recommend it that you create two partition, one for root and another one for swap. So let's select something else and then click on continue. Select free space which we created earlier, click on plus sign. Select the partition mount point slash and let's specify the size. Click on OK. Let's again select a free space. Click on plus sign and this time select swap area and click on OK. When finished, hit the install now button in order to apply changes to the disk and start the installation process. So let's click on install now. Click on continue. This is where you have to select your current location. The setup will auto detect your location if you are connected to the internet. So in my case, my location is Kolkata. Let's click on continue. In the next screen, select your keyboard layout and then click on continue button. Now this is where you have to enter your user detail in the right order. So let's specify the name of our user. Let's specify the password and then click on continue. So these are the all the settings required for customizing Ubuntu 16.04 installation. From here, on the installation process will run automatically until it reaches the end. After the installation process reaches its end, hit on restart now button in order to complete the installation. The machine will reboot into grub menu where for 10 seconds you will be presented choose what OS you wish to use further. Ubuntu 16.04 or Microsoft Windows. Ubuntu is designated as a default OS to boot from. Thus, just print enter key or wait for those 10 seconds timeout to drain. After Ubuntu finish loading, log in with the credential created during the installation process and enjoy it. So let's specify the credential of our user manager and hit enter. Ubuntu 16.04 provides NTFS file system supports automatically so you can access the files from Windows partition just by clicking on Windows volume. So let's click on this volume and this is the our Windows partition. As you can see the program files, Windows and users folders are there. 
In case you need to switch back to Windows, just reboot the computer and select Windows from the grub menu. Let's do it. Let's close this and let's restart this Ubuntu computer. Let's select restart. And from grub, this time you have to select Windows 10 loader and hit enter key. So after a few seconds, you will see a Windows 10 login screen. So let's click on it and let's specify the password of our user admin and hit enter. Now you can successfully log into your Windows 10 computer as well. So this is the way how you can install Ubuntu 16.04 alongside with Windows 10 in a jailboard. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.